So there is a field called integral medicine. And integral medicine looks at the human being. You know, how is the human being doing on the interior individual level, upper left quadrant, collective lower level? Um, what's his, what's his um, culture like? And is it matching? You know, if you're living in a very rational culture or enclosed culture, yet your mind is integral, it's free, you're going to be suffering. There's going to be a lot of inner stress, a lot of de, um, degeneration in the body. So the exterior upper, your body, how it's evolving from atoms to molecules to cells to complex neocortex. And we're going to be more moving into uh, meta cortex, yeah, and lower uh, exterior is the you know where you're at in your society. Uh, meaning, are you in the industrial society or informational society, and how it's evolving in your outer environment? Okay, so this is integral medicine. So every patient or every human that comes into your life, you look at this, and of course let's say depression, anxiety, the treatments are considered in these quadrants as well. But what I want to touch on is integral longevity. We are moving beyond these quadrants and there is this tug of eros in longevity in science. And we're moving from bio biological medicine and into biotechnological medicine, into synthetic biology, into biocybernetics and into cybernetics. And of course, there is a dark side to this. Some people believe that this movement from biology to cybernetics is, um, it's, it's what Thanatos is the death instinct. It's, it's, the, it's an annihil annihilatory instinct, yeah? So some people believe, oh my God, what's gonna happen to our biology as we move into cybernetics? And people are worried about this progress.